Well, what a season it's been for the Irish down under. And the West Coast Eagles had their fair share of action over the campaign. And one of their standout players for the side was Ashling McCarthy, who joins me now from Australia. Ashling, welcome to the show. First, before we get your reaction to the preliminary finals, how's the rehab going with the wrist injury? Hey, guys, how are things? Um... Yeah, not too bad. Um, I'm just about eight weeks after I fractured it, so it's a bit of an unlucky injury to get, but I think that's sport and things like that, that get thrown at you. So um, I've just been thinking of the positives and I'm back running even the last few weeks and that, so I'm looking forward to just getting fitter and faster, looking forward to um, season ready. So um, it's on the up and I just have to get the tick off in, in the next few weeks and hopefully I'll be back um, into the action and um, back into contact, which I'm looking forward to. Well, well done on all your progress with that so far, and it's great to see you. Um, I suppose I was just wondering, what did you make of the prelim finals this weekend, Ash? Yeah, like, obviously really exciting, and especially to see it. Um, I suppose they're a very established team, but it's good to see Melbourne in a final for the first time as well. So um, that's really exciting for them, and obviously to have an Irish... Two Irish players on their list, too, in Lauren and, and Goldie, that you obviously play with in Dublin, is, is really exciting. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll be a great final. Um, I think Melbourne, their list is really stacked with talent, but obviously Adelaide have that experience of being in grand finals over the last few years. So it will just be kind of interesting to see um, the matchups. I think um, Melbourne in particular got their matchups um, really w done really well at the weekend and um, really kind of stopped a lot of the Brisbane stars. So uh, it will be interesting to see who lines up on who at the weekend and I'm really looking forward to um, sitting back relaxing and, and just seeing the best team win really. Okay Ashley we've got to get you off the fence though who's taking the title <laughs> home? Um, yeah I'm not sure I think like I think the D's like their ball movement is excellent um, they play a very kind of uncontested um, kick mark game and their skills are very very good and I think when when you kind of try to nullify one star someone else pops up so I think they potentially could tip it. Um, so I do think Melbourne could, but um, I'm not sure as well. Just obviously it's a home game for Adelaide, um, which is huge. And I think they've packed out Adelaide Oval before. So it'll be just, yeah, it'll be definitely down to the wire, but potentially Melbourne um, could pip it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Ash, I think you very much stayed on the fence there. <laughs> but um, just in terms of your own season... Oh, um, with the West Coast Eagles, you got one win on the board, but overall it was a very frustrating season, was it? Um, yeah, you could say that. Obviously, um, we went out to look for improvement this year. We got two wins last year, so getting a couple of more wins under our belt was one of our main aims and just to continue growing as a group. Um, but obviously, only getting one win on the board was a bit frustrating, and there was obviously games there, especially against the likes of Gold Coast and Geelong, where we kind of had the winning of it and it was the last quarter that unfortunately we probably switched off a little bit and that's probably the killer just not um, being able to pull off those wins when we kind of had it in the bag um, but I guess you know we're just looking forward to next season and and we have a really young group of girls and we're obviously one of the new teams that came in the last couple of years so we know we have a lot to improve on and, and grow but um, hopefully like next season we'll definitely get a few wins under our belt and see where that takes us. Ashley, one of the things that was mentioned during the season about the West Coast Eagles was your slow start, you're struggling to get into the game quick and it was trying to pull all four quarters together. Is that one of the big hurdles that you need to overcome, do you think, next year? Yeah, definitely. Just a four-quarter performance. Um, yeah, a few slow starts obviously put us under the pump early and then there was a couple of games where we started well, like against North Melbourne, but then fell away towards the end. So it was just... I think we can play a high pressure game, but obviously it's very hard to sustain um, that kind of pressure and um, fast kind of speed around the ball for four quarters. But we'll just need to look at getting like fitter and being able to play that game because I think that's when we get the best out of ourselves. But we'll definitely go back to the drawing board. Um, we've had our exit reviews and stuff over the last couple of weeks since our season ended. And um, there's a lot obviously we can work on as players and um, go from there and we just have to stick together as a group despite how frustrating it was and disappointing um, I think we um, a lot that happened this year galvanised us as a group we obviously had to live in Melbourne together for four weeks in a hub lived in a hotel on top of each other but I think it made us stronger 
um, and things like that will potentially stand to us going forward. And I think um, it's important that we stick together despite the disappointments. Um, Ash, in terms of the Eagles as a club and the organisation um, of the AFLW programme, do you think there'll be many changes regard in that regard coming into the new season? Um, yeah, well, I guess this is the time of year where there probably will be a lot of chopping and changing amongst um, all the clubs, like especially with four new um, teams coming in. In next season, it will be interesting just to see um, all the trades and stuff that will happen over the off season. So it might be a bit juicy, all the big names that are potentially moving at the minute. But um, for us, we've already had four retirements, I think. Um, so obviously those girls have given a lot to the game in general um, over their, their careers. Um, and it's obviously sad to see them go, but it gives opportunity for new young girls to come onto our list and see where it can go from there. But yeah, there might be a bit of turnover and I think potentially that would be across the league in general. Um, but there will definitely need a lot of players to come into the league to fill those spots too. So at the minute, I suppose everyone's in negotiation with contracts and stuff for next season and we've no real date on when the season is or when all this sign and trade period will happen. So I think there's a lot of uncertainty at the minute, um, but hopefully we'll keep a core group of players and um, build from there. Um, Ash, you're the only Irish player to have played at two clubs. You seem to have really settled in at the Eagles. And I'm just wondering, what, what are the main changes or the main differences you've noticed between, say, the Western Bulldogs and the Eagles, where you are now? Um, yeah, well, just that in general was a massive change. Um, obviously, moving out from Ireland to the other side of the world is a big enough move. But then, obviously, to move cities as well um, was big. But... I just enjoy, um, I suppose, the Perth lifestyle as well. Um, it's a lot more laid back than Melbourne. I feel like it's easier to meet up with the girls outside of the club and I kind of have a really group. I obviously had a good um, group of friends as well in Bulldogs, but I think it's just easier to meet outside of footy um, in Perth, um, just as a lot smaller and more chill. So I think that really helps to like build us as a group. Um, we have a good culture off the field and then just little things my physio career is really important to me so I've been able to have um, a few opportunities to shadow with um, the clinic that's next to our club and I'm going to stay out here now in the off season and do a little bit of work with the Waffle men's team as well so there's a lot of those opportunities that just make me able to have a focus outside of footy which I thought was really important because you can just get stuck in a bit of a bubble over here um, and I think that can be the hardest thing so I've just really enjoyed having a bit more of a balance um, off the field as well as on the field and that's probably the biggest change which has helped my mindset and just enjoy football for what it is and um, have my friends and stuff outside of footy. Ashley, brilliantly you've brought us into the next question straight away. We're talking about the expansion, the new four teams coming in. We talk about we don't know when the new season is going to start. Obviously August has been posed. Um, how big a decision is that? Uh, we think you've made your decision. You can tell us a little bit about that as well. But for the rest of the Irish girls, obviously with GA commitments, and do you think that could affect the number of Irish coming over for the new campaign? Um, definitely. Like it's a huge decision to make. I guess like obviously you've grown up playing Gaelic football. That's your number one love and priority really and then the opportunity to come out to Australia is brilliant to live that professional lifestyle um become a better athlete out here and then try your hand at a, at a new sport and I think being able to marry the two of them has been a really nice privilege to have for all of us over the last few years but we kind of knew it was going to come to a decision had been had to be made but um I don't think we knew it was going to be as soon so it definitely will be a, a big talking point I think potentially maybe girls that are at clubs for the last few years might have a bit more leeway where they can go back and play Gaelic and come out later in in the pre-season but for me I just know there's so much learning in the game and um, things to get your head around that I kind of would like to be there day one of pre-season if I was coming out as a new player or if it's only my second year or so so um, yeah I, I don't know it, it is tough but um, as you mentioned I had made my decision and I'd rang tip um, my coach a few weeks ago. Um, it was a very tough decision, but one I think I had to make just for life in general. It's been hard to live for six months in Australia and six months in Ireland. And um, they are very understanding. And, um, you know, I'm obviously grateful for them to wish me well for the opportunity out here. And then I can kind of reconsider things next year and see how things go. Well, Ashley, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thanks a million for having me.
Fingers crossed you're back in action in no time at all.